Today I'll be comparing uh, the Apple M1 family versus what I have here, uh, my Intel i9 uh, 8 core 2.4 gigahertz 2019 MacBook Pro uh, with its internal Radeon Pro 5500M and also I'll be doing the eGPU which my eGPU has um, Vega 56 and we'll see how those stack up with uh, the newest release of Blender 3.1 which now allows for AMD cards to be utilized with Metal. You can see all those M1 Max, M1 Pro and M1, the whole M1 family was tested with 3.1 on Blender's uh, benchmark database site. We can see from uh, the database that M1 Max scores the most with 701 points and M1 Pro scores uh, almost twice less and the same almost for M1 uh, basic machine which scores 207. The CPU, you see the CPUs M1 Max and M1 Pro, they're very close. The, the main difference there is uh, the memory bandwidth. M1, M1 Max has uh, 400 uh, gigab gigabytes per second and M1 Pro is half of that. So let's uh, get started. Like I said, we'll be using 3.1 version and I'll be using the terminal benchmark uh, application. The regular one has some issue and doesn't doesn't properly operate on my machine but uh, luckily enough the terminal client is working well. So the test finished and uh, we're ready to get uh, the result. My uh, i9 CPU as you can see it above there I left all the information for you to see scored 151 uh, and that's a little bit less than uh, the M1 Pro so there is not much of a difference between the Pro and my machine M1 is definitely um, uh, much less and M1 Max scores uh, the most but I would say that's that's a very close gap here with the CPUs Let's move over to the uh, GPUs. We're gonna do next the Radeon uh, 5500M. The test finished and uh, we have 429 score for my internal Radeon Pro, which is pretty good. And as you can see, the M1 Pro GPU even scores less. The M1, I'm not gonna even consider it. And uh, M1 Max is 701. So pretty pretty good score for 2019 machine compared to M1 uh, family. One thing to consider here is that my Radeon Pro uh, card is actually the 8 gigabyte version, not the 4. Let's move to the final test. The most interesting one is with my eGPU with the Vega 56. Uh, it's a Rock Edition, uh, Republic of Gamers. Uh, edition which is a little bit overclocked and as you can see uh, it's an 8 gigabyte uh, video card also as you can see this one scores 638 points uh, on the blender uh, <coughs> GPU test which moves it very close to the max GPU the M1 max the older that the pro and the regular one are left behind um, and keep in mind my card the, in the eGPU is that's a very I would say media core card. If we compare it to the top cards in the G, in the database, we see that the GeForce cards are the king of the castle, with almost six thousand points compared to the M1 Max seven hundred points. That's nowhere near to consider. So if you're using Blender, I guess using an eGPU and a regular Intel laptop will give you way much better performance. The 6900TX, I checked it earlier, it was doing 2200 points, which I guess will be more than the Studio uh, Mac Studio. 
but we'll find out uh, later on about that one. And if we compare the top CPUs compared to the M1 Max, uh, M1 Max is again nowhere near those CPUs. So I guess if you're doing huge projects in uh, Blender and need to render a lot, uh, M1 is not the answer for that because it was doing was achieving almost 200 points and you can see the top ones are doing 1200 on the CPU test. That's all for today's episode. If you like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, comment uh, down below. Thank you.